Hey, what's up you guys? Cameron Cornish here, your number one real estate agent in St. George. And today we are back with another video. We're gonna do a neighborhood tour in one of the fastest growing parts of St. George. We are out in Washington City, right? That's right, if you've looked into St. George before or thought about moving to St. George, you've probably come across Washington City. And I've sold a ton of real estate within these couple of neighborhoods that I'm gonna highlight today. And according to my clients, they're all happy that they live there. They love the neighborhoods, they love the schools. And so I'm gonna get to share that with you today. Come take a tour with me, have a look, learn more about this amazing city, and we'll do it together. Let's do it. All right, you guys, I wanted to start this tour right off of the Telegraph Street over in Washington, right off of the Green Springs exit of the I-15. And I wanted to start here to really show you guys that there is definitely an area in Washington that you can get done all of these things that you gotta get done as far as retail shopping and grocery shopping and even restaurants and places like that to eat at. Uh, it's just super, super convenient just because there's so many places in this one little area right here. Um, you have a Home Depot, you have the Walmart shop, shopping center right there as well. There's even a Costco right around the corner, which is very convenient for some of that bulk uh, kind of grocery shopping that you gotta get done. They're getting ready to actually build a Bed Bath & Beyond right next to the Best Buy over here as well, which is inside the In-N-Out parking center, which you can never go wrong with In-N-Out. And then they just did the Ross as well, which is something that we definitely look forward to having around. I just wanted to share this with you guys though to let you know that there's definitely places like this in Washington City, uh, just for the convenience of you and your family. But let's continue our tour and go check out our first neighborhood. So the first neighborhood that I'm gonna bring you guys to is called the Shooting Star. It's a subdivision over here off Washington Dam Road. I sold quite a few homes in this neighborhood uh, so far this year. All of my clients love it and I've really grown to love it as well. It's got an amazing park that I'm gonna show you guys, Shooting Star Park. But really what I love about it is just the environment that I think the neighborhood has created. There's a ton of kids and it's awesome, right? They'll ride around on their motorcycles and their quads. And so the neighborhood, I guess the downside could be a little loud, but if you got kids and stuff like that, you probably want to be around that, right? So uh, another great part of Shooting Star is Horizon Elementary School is right around the corner, which is one of the top rated elementary schools in St. George, five star reviews. Uh, I think it's rated like an eight out of 10 from uh, school schools.org really great and safe school to send your kids to overall this is a great community homes homes and ivory homes are actually builders right now uh, and there's some model homes that we're gonna go take a look at so come along with me let's go check them out homes homes uh, if you've watched any of my other videos you've probably seen me cover this builder before definitely a fan of them right here over in shooting star so in this subdivision they actually have about five different model homes to choose from this is a rambler style home so if you come visit these homes homes uh, model homes over here really you're gonna choose between about five different floor plans that they have available anywhere between two to four bedroom anywhere between two and a half bath to three bath and then anywhere between 2300 square feet all the way to 3200 square feet so there's definitely a lot to choose from they give you a good variety they have a couple of these rambler style homes but they also have some two-story homes as well so definitely something to think about definitely something to look into again i'm a big fan of shooting star and definitely recommend this neighborhood There's Ivory Homes over here in Shooting Star. This particular floor plan is the biggest one that they offer. It's called Acadia. It's actually five bedrooms, but they have about seven different floor plans that you could actually pick from. Anywhere between three to five bedroom, anywhere between 1,800 square feet, all the way up to about 31, 3,200 square feet. So definitely come check out these model homes. Another great thing that both Ivory and Homes Homes has to offer is if you use their preferred lender, they definitely have some great incentives to help you buy down your interest rate right now. So keep that in mind as well. Price range over here, anywhere between 700 to about 725. But if you want a premium uh, lot with views of Dixie, then you're looking at about 745. Ivory has about 300 lots as well behind this model home. They're gonna continue to build out this neighborhood like crazy. Come check it out as soon as you possibly can. Uh, great neighborhood. We're gonna go to the next one right now. I'm gonna take you guys to a very popular part of Washington, which is Washington Fields. There's a lot of people moving there, a lot of people that wanna live there and call it home. You guys why here in a minute. So come and take a look with me. You know, I think another big reason people are drawn to Washington Fields is because you will typically find that the lot sizes are bigger than normal out here. 
especially if you're moving from out of state and you're kind of used to bigger land or having more land, that's something that might attract you to Washington Fields. Another big reason is the Red Cliffs Temple that was just constructed out here. And if you're of the LDS faith, that might be important to you to maybe get a view of the temple. So keep that in mind as well as you're thinking about Washington Fields. All right, you guys, obviously I had to take my jacket off because it's getting a little warm out here. That's another reason I love St. George. It's in the middle of winter and it's like 65 degrees, right? It doesn't get any better than that. But anyways, you guys, I'm right behind Crimson Cliffs High School, as you can see behind me here, which is Utah's uh, 30th ranked high school in the entire state, but number one in the city of St. George, which is a big deal, you guys. They have a great sports program, great academic program, just definitely something to keep in mind, especially if you have high school age kids. A lot of our friends that have kids that go there love it and have nothing but positive things to say about it. But I just wanted to take you to this neighborhood and this new subdivision that's being built out right now. And you have a couple different builders that are actually building homes in here. You have Desert Sage, you have High Desert, you have Breckenridge, and there's some other buildings. This neighborhood's gonna be more on the luxury side of things. I'm guessing anywhere between four to 5,000 square feet plus, but just one of many neighborhoods over here in Washington Fields for you to take a look at. And it definitely would be a good idea to get a home around this area because as they continue to build up, these luxury style homes over here it'll definitely help your home hold its value if not grow value and that's kind of a trend that we see in Washington Fields home value and equity is always going up we rarely ever see it dip or come down just because it's such a sought-after place for people to come move to and live here so keep that in mind as well especially if you're thinking more long term anyways you guys I'm gonna head over to Little Valley which is another highly desirable area in St. George for people to want to move to just because again, it's schools, it's parks, ton of things for you and your kids to do. Let's go have a look at it as well and we'll continue the tour. Pickleball, you gotta love it. If you don't know what pickleball is, if you move to St. George or Utah, you'll definitely learn pretty quick. It's a pretty popular sport out here that a lot of people play and uh, my wife and I got into it a while back. Definitely keep you in shape and uh, keep your competitive drive going. But I'm over here at the Fields Park in Little Valley. A uh, very kind of infamous park over here in Little Valley just because it's first off pretty dang big. You got these awesome pickleball courts right here and there's usually uh, tournaments going on that they have. And that's uh, pretty rad when you see, you know, 67 year old people moving like they're moving like they're uh, 20 again. Another awesome thing about this park is they got a ton of soccer fields and baseball fields in the back as well. I wanted to show this to you guys first before we went to go look at some homes. Surrounding this park in the heart of Little Valley, you have, you have Little Valley Elementary School and then you also have Sunridge Intermediate School over here as well, which again are ranked pretty high in St. George as schools to attend to. So definitely something for you to look into as well if you're looking at schools and school districts are important to you. So you guys, I'm gonna take you over to a, an awesome up and coming neighborhood with a ton of new construction going on right now. It's right in between Little Valley Road and 300 East. It's called the Arbors. And I've sold a couple homes in this neighborhood this year, dealing with a company by the name of New Trend, which I can say as of right now, it could always change. But New Trend is probably one of my favorite builders here in St. George for a number of reasons, but Instead of telling you, let me just go show you. Let's go have a tour together. Here we go. Look at this beautiful new trend home here in Little Valley. And I just want to take a minute to highlight this builder and show you guys why these new trend homes sell so fast here in St. George. I got my beautiful wife, Chelsea, giving us a tour of this house today. But a couple things that you're going to notice right off the get go, a couple things that new trend does really well. And I believe that's the reason why these homes go so quick. First things first is they have a great uh, use of storage, right? I know that's something that's important to a lot of people. Uh, these beautiful mud rooms right here as well, leading into the laundry room from the garage door. Um, one thing they do as well uh, that I think is really smart is they don't go too bold or crazy. They stay neutral with their colors, right? One thing a lot of people like, especially in St. George, is white homes with black trim and a light or dark hardwood uh, throughout the house with trim. Right? I think a lot of people are looking for that. Um, this home right here also has access to the backyard from the master as you're looking at that. That's one thing Nutrin does that I think is very smart, along with the accent walls all throughout the house. It just looks very luxurious and elegant, right? As we go upstairs, even if you look at the stairway right here, you look at the, the black railing with the with the wood trim, I, it just, it's smart. A lot of people like that. One thing that Nutrin does as well, usually downstairs and upstairs in the loft, is they'll pre-wire those windows for uh, blinds, which I think is smart. Another thing is, look, another laundry room upstairs, right? That's that's genius. If I'm gonna buy a 5,000 square foot house, give me a laundry room upstairs and downstairs so my kids can do some laundry, right? 
Uh, I also could not leave out the garage, you guys. Uh, beautiful three-car garage on this side. But then if you look, there's a 50-foot long RV garage with a 14-foot garage door. It's just smart, you guys. Uh, as you can see, that's why these homes sell so fast. There it is, you guys. New trend, like I said, one of my favorite builders out here in Southern Utah and especially in St. George, Washington City area. Do me a favor, if you like this video, like and subscribe to get more content like this. And I'll see you next time on the next video.